r slash ask reddit as you get older what's something that becomes increasingly annoying unnecessary noise grocery shopping on weekends oh the unnecessary noise thing hits home people chewing with their mouth open tapping feet it's irrational at times but still very real how there are still grown ass people who can't eat food without smacking their lips is just beyond me other people oh yeah duck people annoy me going slow in the supermarket blocking doorways parking over the lines failing to use blinkers a guy i'm a miserable middle-aged man people who stop in the high traffic areas really get my blood pumping following someone into a store we walk in they stop right at the door looking for their wallet mask phone etc it takes less than three seconds to step to the side so others can pass time there's either too much or too little the years go fast and the days go so slow my brain's the burger and my heart's the coal working non-stop when do adults get summer break it's been 16 years this is why the COVID shut down one of the best times of my life. I was off for two months. I was at home with my family and was shocked when my wife was genuinely upset that I was going back to work. I did all kinds of things around the house. Spent so much time doing things with my kids. It was heaven. Discovering new aches and pains when you get up in the morning. Or when you're standing up. When I was young. I used to silently laugh at the old man noises my father made when he stood up from the couch, listening to him. You'd think that standing up from the couch was so hard when it was obviously easy, of course. Now that I'm in my mid-40s, I'm making those sounds. When I stand up, it sounds like someone is strangling a wookie. Nobody warns you that gravity seems to increase as you age. 61 here with 3 titanium joints. I'll bet I can outgrow the bloody lot of you. The constant need to ducking pee. That's how my dad just discovered he had very early stage prostate cancer. So tell your doctor and you'll get a free finger in the ass. Free. People being excessively loud in public. Stop screaming. You know what gets me. Just people in public. If they could all go somewhere else that would be great. The length of time it takes to recover from an injury. Sprained ankle. 3 years. Wow this blew up overnight. Reading all of these comments put my ankle into perspective. Some of you are really dealing with some tough injuries. Take care. Do what your doctor says. And I wish healthy healing to all of you. Thank you for the award. My first. Or, you know, ever. That may just be the way it is now. It certainly is for my back. If there are any youths reading this thread and you come across this comment. Take care of your back. Trust me, waking up locked up and trying to decide if you go ahead and shit the bed or deal with the blinding pain required to make it to the bathroom is a situation I'd prefer you not find yourselves in. How does one take care of their back? Being tired all the time. This. So I work out to fix it. Now I'm tired and in pain. Duck you body. They're coming out of my ear. I mean what the duck? I have like four. Two inch long eyebrow hairs that have started poking me in the eye. It's awesome. I'm not alone. The weird thing is I will pluck off trim the long eyebrow hairs but then like two months later I'll as suddenly be like WTF I keep L feeling this hair in my eye. The goddamned eyebrow is back. My inability to fall asleep. It never ends till you're so exhausted you need to sleep an entire day. I found a podcast called Sleep With Me that I listen to with one ear in on super low volume. Side sleeper. The guy picks a subject and just goes on rambling somewhat repetitive tangents. Something about it just puts you to sleep. I think it's because it's so nonsensical that your brain chooses not to follow it and just goes into shutdown. It's definitely helped me. Noise. I 100% understand the angry old guys that would yell at me and my friends when we were running up and down the block yelling and being obnoxious. I feel this. There's a dude who walks through my neighborhood sometimes blasting the funkiest music I've ever heard. He's cool. But the guy who likes to race his ATV around the block whenever the spirit takes him gets on my nerves. Give it another 20 years and you'll hate them both. Petty stuff like. Clothes not drying up completely and they end up smelling damp. My so seems to have some kind of deficiency cause she keeps taking down my still slightly damp clothes to make space for hers and insists they are dry. This is my wife. Unless it's baby clothes or bedding. 
then she can sense levels of moisture so low they are only seen in the Atacama Desert. The excessively bright LED headlights are killing me. Dude, it's been like an arms race. 90s tuners with illegal heads, higher tier zeros cars come equipped from the factory, zeros upper tier cars have them, duck it now every car needs them, lights too bright to see the brake and parking lights of cars around you because they outshine them, here's some eye bleeding red led stacks to jab your cornea, at some point the street lights started illuminating entire neighborhoods, yards and all, People all have floods on the corners of their house that shine almost horizontally into the roads and sense a trip for every passing car, even on the opposite of the road. I swear it must be causing more danger, because everybody is driving with closed pupils that are constantly adjusting back and forth between intense direct light and regular dark as they drive. And yet people will drive fast because their hyper beams and the ultra street lamps psychologically make them think they can see further. I used to walk at night because it's a bit more relaxing in my busy traffic area. The past few years I've been blind the entire time. Walking towards a car that blocks away is still blinding. Cause coming up behind leave my clear shadow on stop signs and still blind me because the corners of my glasses reflect that sharp. Blue white lights right in. Passing every house turns on a pair of floods that goes right to my brain. I'm at a point where I want to get into state or local government just so I can try to pass ordinances about light color, intensity, angle and shining distance from the source. I'd blame my eyes but I can still see perfectly in the dark as long as an alien beam isn't making my pupils cement themselves shut. I swear, I often don't have a shadow at night because there are so many bright lights shining at me from all angles between cars, street lamps and porch sensor floods, and don't even get me started on people that still keep the property security beam cannons on when they use decorative lighting for like Halloween or Christmas. Oh my god and it's not even just the ones facing at you. I had to drive home with my head cokied to the left the other night because the jerk behind me was blinding me with his LED headlights. They were so bright they were overpowering my own headlights. Cooking my head just right was the only way to keep from being totally blind without adjusting all my mirrors so my retinas weren't lasered out. Tinnitus. I only notice my tinnitus when somebody brings IT up. A hole. I'm sure you're joking. But holy shit it must be nice to have it go away sometimes. Traffic. Just time wasted blowing away resources. Working from home doesn't just have to be because of the pandemic. With more high speed internet, more and more workers should be out of the massive waste bar is driving a ton and a half of metal 2 plus hours a day. You are the traffic. Sharing the burden of other people's self induced personal drama. This is why I say that sucks to everything with no follow up questions. I just hit them with a damn. Maybe I'll try damn that sucks. More sympathetic. Honestly just drama. As a kid I didn't notice it. As a teen it was all around me and I was half involved. As an adult I'm so ducking sick and tired of hearing stupid drama. Especially when you realize many adults are barely better than 5 year olds and some on par with toddlers. I feel like this was such a revelation. So many people just don't mature. Especially now that I teach kids I see so clearly that so many supposed adults are just taller and heavier kids. Bad manners. Why is it so hard to just be nice? People who just can't shut the hell up. Especially on the bus or train. I just want to go back to sleep. Coworkers who can't shut up are the worst. I can totally see why people want to continue working from home. I have a co-worker like that, I'm just trying to zone out for a few minutes on my phone while on my break. She's constantly talking, ending every sentence with you know, it's like she can't for it though without verbalizing it. Clutter, stuff, it didn't bother me that much when I was younger, but it's definitely something that's gotten increasingly on my nerves as I passed into my 30s. Definitely exacerbated by the grandmother-in-law who will not stop giving us stuff. No matter how often we ask her to this, well-meaning family members decluttering their shit onto my spouse who can't say no. People lying for no reason. This drives me crazy. My husband and I work for a guy who never stops lying. He says he was a super secret marine or some shit who was there when Osama bin Laden was killed. He knows Putin. Played chess with him. Used to hunt down Japanese mafia. Had a hit on him from Al-Qaeda because he was such a good sniper. Dude literally just repeats movie plots. 
If you've been somewhere, he's been there killing monkeys with a samurai sword or some shit. We've known him 5 years and I knew he was a liar the very first conversation we had with him. I don't remember exactly what he said but it had something to do with serving in the military and it was completely wrong. My dad was a major in the air force. We lived on air force bases my entire childhood. I know when he's bullshitting about serving. It's annoying but I've realized from his ex-wife that it's likely a result of horrific abuse during childhood. We don't say anything. He's a nice guy and if that's what he needs to do to pretend he isn't a victim or whatever, I guess we can put up with it. I love people like this. It's horrible that the storytelling is a coping mechanism for men it, don't get me wrong. But nothing is more fun than when they just keep getting deeper into the story when they realize you're interested enough to hear what they have to say. My chemistry teacher was like this in high school. He'd lie about quite literally everything. But it was fun having the whole class ask him questions about his claims and having him somehow save himself through the most insane mental gymnastics. It's like a game of how's he going to get out of this one, and against all odds, he does it. He finds a way to make two opposing realities somehow make sense in one coherently incoherent story. Easily the most enjoyable class I took in high school. Didn't learn any chemistry, but the deductive reasoning skills and logic I've learned in that class, priceless. The Grinch in the first half of the movie, before his enlarged cardiac syndrome, becomes more relatable every year. Poor guy just wanted to be left alone and have some peace and quiet. But those neighbors from hell, the who's just wouldn't shut up. Squidward is also relatable as an adult. You either die a Spongebob or live to see yourself become a Squidward. Actually having to do work to stay alive. Yes dude. Sunday scary as ducks me up lol. Like my Sunday is duck and open till like 7pm when it's time to decompress and get ready for Monday colon. What about 6pm? When you know 7pm is right around the corner. When the subtitles don't match the audio in a show. Ever seen a show where the lip sync is out? I have to look everywhere except their mouths. If it's out of sync I stop watching. Other people. Especially loud people. Loud noises omg. I'm 31 and can't believe I would play my TV at full blast as a kid. Children screaming bloody murder. Not kids. Playing or quick shout. But a scream. School down road from me is so loud I cannot enjoy my meals on my balcony. Loud. Dark restaurants. Can't hear the server or my friends and can't read the menu without my phone flashlight. Hate restaurants that blast the music. I guess it's fun for the staff who have to be there all day. But as a customer the whole reason I'm there is to talk with my friends while we eat. Which is so difficult if the music is so loud. Basically feels like they just want me to eat in silence and leave ASAP. Cleaning. I have no clue why I can't get my act together and keep shit clean. I am tired of stepping on crumbs and picking up clothes. Not to mention random toys everywhere. Edit. Thanks for all the well-meaning advice. You all are beautiful. I already have a robot vacuum. And I do practice cleaning 5 minutes at a time and all that. My ADHD and depression have been really bad lately. I'm getting help BTW. And it was just easier to deal with when I was younger. That's probably what I should have commented lol. I cleaned the kitchen 4 times yesterday. 4 times. It never ends. There will always be dishes and there will always be laundry. My 15 year old brother and his tiktok obsession. He recently made a tiktok. He ran up to me and pushed me in the pool. He then yelled get wet boomer I'm 29. Use his own weapons against him. Start a tiktok and set up an elaborate water trap. Yell get duck ed zoomer. You either both double down or he realizes it sucks and stops. I literally got out of the pool and dragged him by his ear and threw him in. LOL he's 6ft3 and I'm a 5ft4 girl but I was not playing around. I was pissed. Littering. Is everything an acceptable answer? Because everything. Dental issues. Waking up. Yup, would be nice to not have to do that anymore. I don't mind waking up. It's what comes after I can't stand. Give me a lifetime of waking up naturally with no alarm. The room is the perfect temperature. Sunlight streams in the window but not in my eyes. Birds are chirping. And I have nothing to do. Um. Lack of awareness. Everywhere. People looking at their phone while driving. Not really listening to the person they're talking to. 
blocking the grocery aisle with their cart, leaving messes for someone else to clean up, taking good friends or family for granted, contradicting themselves with cognitive dissonance, screwing everyone behind them when the left turn is green, etc. You're not the only person trying to live your life today. Small print. Seriously. Food manufacturers. You don't need to write the cooking instructions in 7 point aerial narrow. Expiration dates written in white. WTF. Having to scroll down more and more to find my birth year on an online form. I have to spin that damn wheel like I'm on the prices right. Or when they ask to select which range your age is in. There comes a point where you no longer get lumped in with the 20 somethings. Now you're lumped in with those 40 and up. Witnessing road rage. It's not worth it. Let it go. Guy in front of me got out of his car at a traffic light and walks up to the car in front of him and starts screaming at the woman. Aggressive gestures and arm movements too. Through the windshields I see her husband point a handgun at the guy. He immediately returned to his car. But WTF man. You came that close to dying over some little traffic indiscretion. This was not an accident. There was no damage to either car. Nobody died. Can people just chill? Working with the public. People are becoming increasingly impatient. Self-entitled and rude. I'm sorry you have to wait in line like everyone else and can't just walk in. Grab your thing and walk out because there are other people in the store. The public has gotten increasingly feral in the last year too. I've seen more adults throw fits this year, than ever. Losing weight. After maintaining it for 8 years, I got fat quick, it ducking blows. Becoming older. After 25, you kind of stop celebrating getting older. It's like a runaway train. When I was in my mid 30s, a co-worker the same age as me dropped dead during a meeting. Aneurysm. His daughter and mine were in the same preschool class. His death made me realize getting older isn't so bad. It's another year I got to experience life. Be with my daughter. Indulge in the things I enjoy. Etc. While I don't make a big deal out of my birthdays. I don't dread them either. My in-laws. My wife's in-laws. This guy's wife's in-laws. Literally ducking everything. Not to be confused with having sex with everything. Hangovers. When overindulging. Young me felt a bit off for 4-5 hours the next day, then I was ready to go again. Old me requires 3-4 days before feeling good again. Not being able to do things as easily or not at all because your body won't cooperate. People who can't go a day without bashing people on the internet. It's too peer plea everywhere. My family. I've started to dread holidays and birthdays that I used to look forward to. I literally just told my mom 20 minutes ago that I'm going to be out of town for Thanksgiving. Wednesday Sunday. She thinks I'm flying away. I'm booking a hotel 15 minutes away and getting myself weed, tequila, and pizza. I can't deal with narcissistic people and enablers. I'm 31 and too ducking old for that shit anymore. Loud. Reckless vehicles. Pooping so long your legs go to sleep. But you aren't done pooping yet. People who refuse to put in the most basic entry to work things out for themselves before asking for help. If you genuinely need help, that's fine. But if the first Google result would have sorted your shit out, and you're sitting at your computer, why the hell are you bothering me? Younger me. She made some really dumb choices and disregarded things she should have paid attention to, like career advice, her health, life insurance, financial planning. I never saw anyone around me of any age paying attention to these things so i thought they were just fussy adult bullshit turns out i was wrong noise why are you making noise stop make less noise co-payments to doctor visits people who talk on speakerphone in public birthdays people who can't read the room ducking bureaucracy all my homies hate bureaucracy other people. I used to be bright eyed and loved meeting new people. Then I realized a lot of them are not just irredeemably stupid, but loudly display it like some kind of badge of honor. And some of these viewpoints. My god. The earth is flat and vaccines are poison? Are you shitting me? It almost feels like some people are deliberately coming up with ideas to deny progress in society because it's fun. 
Much like flat earthers, I just can't wrap my mind around it. Whoa, you made it to the end? You're a ducking beast. I'll cut you a deal. Smash like and subscribe for more curated content bruh. It's free and that's a great price.